All right, guys, welcome in to a. This is a doozy up of up of an operation. Craziness will ensue. I'm B Car for Squad Ops. We have Operation Wraith today. Wraith is a multi-mission operation. It's going to get complicated. Let's take a look at the map. So Wraith is all going to be about U.S. picking what they want to do. They have a few options. U.S. can either hunt down an HVT. They can go after intelligence that was left behind at a police station. They can try to sweep the area for ammo caches. Or they can just do the straight up raid on the insurgent headquarters in the area, which is located at a mosque. So, lots of different possibilities for all the objectives. Once the objective is completed, they will exfiltrate the area. So, that's a little bit of a difference compared to most ops where there's really no exfiltration option. There's an exfiltration option with this one. So, um, you know, that's what's going on. So, a few other variations in these rules. U.S. can choose to just straight up go after the weapons caches at any time. Uh, after, or for five minutes after live. Um, but U.S. are only going to be going for one of the four missions. Uh, based on the map, um, we obviously know where the HQ is, it's in the center. Um, the police station, I think, is also marked. It's kind of hard to tell. I need to blow this image up. <laughs> I've tried to make it as big as possible for the map, or for the screen, but uh, it is kind of difficult to tell what exactly is what. Um, But basically, it's going to be a little bit of chaos. U.S. forces are going to roll in and just bulldoze pretty much whatever they're going to go after. Just a matter of what that objective is and what they choose to do with it. Um, U.S., I believe we're going to be starting at Maine. We get to see some of the maps on this, uh, some of the marks on the map here. And then we have, um, actually, it would be helpful if you guys could see what I'm looking at. Some of the marks on the map here, INS are going to start inside the AO. Um, we're going to go ahead and grab command comms. That attack. We should be hearing some command comms as we go on here. Um, question on that though. Which we're also going to fly over to US main. Say that again. What is your suggestion, if you have any, uh, crossing the main road for uh, that vector of attack? We're going to come up to the north. Do a little listen in here. Cross this location. So you guys will come out of spawn. You'll cross that location and push south using bounty techniques. Ideally, get into the high ground, um, like here and in these buildings here, engage the police station, and then move in from there. Hear a little bit of Captain Morgan's plan here. At your discretion, obviously. Um, you know, there's low ground here that you can sneak in as well once you get across the road. Uh, I'll leave it up to you. They won't be able to leave the police station until they take contact, so ideally stay hidden as long as possible. Um, the other two squads... I want two squads there. The other two squads are going to start at Foxtrot 37. Um, the objective for these gentlemen is to push south um, you know, that you don't have to follow. Let me take a look at some loadouts while we listen into what the command's plan is. Push south and get into Echo 5 where we have the HVT target's location. We do not know exactly where in Echo 5 the HVT is. We do know he is in the Echo 5 grid. Um, essentially, the two squads that are here on the western approach are going to try and get that HVT to come out of the building. Um, 
That's why I want kind of a delay for the other two squads to the north to be able to hit him once he's told that he can leave the uh, facility he's in and tries to move to attack us. Um, once he leaves the building, if we can engage and kill him, great. We'll pull back to this point, which will be our exhale point due north of um, police station. If we are unable to ascertain the location of the HVT and the two squads that are hitting the police station are getting attacked very heavily, um, we can have the two squads that are pushing towards the HVT attack from the opposite side. We'll overwhelm them on the police station and um, capture that radio and then move north. Cool? All right, understood. Uh, we good to hand kits out. Yep. There's no special kits for U.S. side, so hand them out. Copy. I'll, uh, I'll, uh, All right. Here's uh, where U.S. are going to be starting at. Copy. Getting everyone in. Do we know that? Looks like we are going to run four. Or I think we're going to run three squads. Getting a few more folks in. Maybe we're running four squads? Not entirely sure. It is an open op, so... Always an opportunity if you have the... Uh, if you can get the mod and everything, hop into our pre-op channel, might be able to join. U.S. do have the option for a helicopter this round, but I don't think uh, they're going to be using it. They could be. All right. So the, that's your kind of general orders. Um, obviously, it's city fighting, so there is the potential that we're going to come into contact with squads anywhere within the regions between um, police station and mosque. They can be as far north as... Um, Echo 3, they could be as far south as Echo 6. Not sure if we're going to get a command brief for the platoon. Um, I'll hand out anything that's, that, that is really necessary for us to know. I imagine we'll figure that out here shortly. Um, again, 3 and 4, your objective is to be as quiet as possible for as long as possible. So um, try to get in there, not be seen, and set up. That way when five and two, as far as U.S. transports, hopefully um, they'll be able to. U.S. doesn't have any. From there. U.S. is going to be on foot for the entirety of the mission. Uh, you guys give them kits? Are we gonna, yeah, are we gonna um, dish out these squads a little bit, or we will? Yes. Uh, I don't know how many more we have coming in, so give me a minute to talk to um, the folks. Let's do it. Uh, squad 3 has kits assigned. Do we do a platoon brief here or do we head up to our start point? We'll do platoon brief here and then we'll head up to start point. Just give me one minute. Then why don't you leave and join an actual squad? You, you know what? Shut up. Wait, why do some people have outlines? Oh, why doesn't everyone have outlines? OWI, please fix. All right, everyone's dishing out some kits right now. We are gonna have a platoon brief before they move up. Looks like they are gonna start at Bravo 4-7 and then move out along the north side. It's spooky outside. You know, I never thought I'd heard a replay. It's just dark. Ooh, Ooh okay. OWI, please. That's a good emote. Who has that? Sergeant Wayne. Send one guy each to Gunny. Gunny yeah. Two guys to three guys that are still going to be coming to us once they make it in. So, Alana and Utopia. That's a good emote. Give Gunny one guy each. Copy that. And then lock your squads. Except for Gunny. We'll do a platoon brief here with the guys that we have in right now. Um, the squad leaders will have to fill the guys in after we get up to our our points. Um, I want to turn my air down. Just to take. Anybody else that's coming in, but it's only going to be three guys, so I'm sure you can handle that, Gunny. Okay? And if he gives you, if he tells yep, you yep. to do something. All right, let's come up to this little hill here where Lana's at. We'll do a platoon brief. Okay. I can talk back to him. Hell yeah. 
Right? Kind of, yeah. You can offer suggestions. You could be like, I think it's better. It's a little chilly. Instead of this way, because there's more cover. Last example, time, when but... we were going through that field, I said it was a bad yeah, idea. Let's go over here listen. away from the SLs. Let's go to the west. Let's go west away from all the SLs. Actually, isn't it platoon briefing? He heard us. He heard us. Cam Morgan getting ready to re deliver platoon brief. <laughs> A little bit of disorganization, but we're. Yep, here we go. We're entertaining this way. All right. There's a platoon brave. Here we go. All right, everybody hear me? Yep. Yep. Yes, sir. Excellent. So tonight, um, we have a couple of targets on the map. The first being uh, some equipment that we left behind after we fell back out of the police station. We also have a known HVT in the Echo 5 area. We've also been made aware of the fact that there could be enemy caches in and around the city uh, that we may need to destroy. Um, our two focus points tonight are going to be the HVT, who is in the Echo 5 grid. We also, our secondary focal point is going to be the radio at police station. If you check your map, it is Delta 423 inside of the two-story building. It was left on the ground floor by some enterprising young uh, Lance Corporal who decided that he didn't want to bring it back with us, thought it was too heavy, didn't want to carry it. So we need to go back there and destroy it and uh, remove it from the face of this earth. To do this effectively, squads three and four are going to move on a eastern approach and then push south through um, the Delta Four grid, getting into a point where they can effectively engage the police station. Uh, they're going to keep their attention on the police station while squads two and five move south to the um, move south to the Echo Five grid to try and successfully kill the HVT in that grid. We do not know the specific whereabouts of the enemy HVT. We only know that he is in the Echo 5 grid somewhere. Um, if we're not able to engage the H, if we're not able to successfully kill and engage the HVT, um, squad two and five will turn their focus to uh, the police station, which again is in Ec uh, Delta 423. Once we complete our mission, either killing the HVT or um, destroying the radio, we'll fall back to the north to Delta 38. Um, that is a warehouse area um, near some rail cars. Um, we'll await for pickup there and um, hopefully live to fight another day. For squads three, four, five, and two, so everybody here, um, we're trying to be as quiet as possible. So if you have, um, for an ROE, if you have an enemy that is engaging you, please engage them. But we want to keep this as quiet as possible, so please get squad leader's permission before you start engaging an enemy, unless they are already firing at you. Do I have any questions at this time? Excellent. All right, squad leaders, break them out. Um, go ahead and get in your transport lodges to go to your respective start locations. Morgan, Liberal had a question. What's our um, extract? Do we have a planned extract? Uh, the extract is Delta 38. Delta 38. Copy. Thank you, Liberal. Be moving on foot to start locations. Where's Lawn? Take a lodgy. A lodgy or transport? Either or. Okay. Okay, so that's the plan. Um, it's available. Gunny, I thought you were coming with me. If you need to take two lodgies or two transports or whatever to get up there, it doesn't matter. Hold on a second. We got people that are in our squad that are in our lodgies. And here they are getting ready to move out. All right, here I come. There he goes. 
pretty sure they could just drive this water. I don't know why they gotta use the bridge. Yeah, you drive the water. Oh, they missed the bridge. I think they can drive this water. It's not that deep, is it? Oh, I can't tell. <laughs> Yeah, but we're on Fallujah. Uh, north side of the map, pretty strong. I've played a couple, I've played a few rounds on this map and uh, north side's strong. I believe they're gonna set out from here though. Yeah. Some squad's gonna sit out from here. Some might actually, I think some actually start up here. Um, Ines, pretty far away. We can see Steve-O, looks like he's got a few guys with him. I believe this is the police station. I guess their primary mission... I think, I mean, I guess... Um, their primary mission's the HVT. And I guess they're gonna get eyes on this as a secondary. Because INS are obviously gonna defend it. They have to spread their guys out pretty far. So lots of bases to cover for INS in this scenario. U.S. Uh, getting to start from a wide variety of angles, choosing to pick two pretty supportive ones. We could see contact in the west here, this northwest area. Definitely on this road. Uh, let's take a look at that real quick. Definitely on that road. It is pretty straightforward. They're going to have... I imagine they're going to be up on bar barricades and stuff. Not a lot of it, but it, there's enough to... to really cause problems. Uh, while we're here, let's take a look at INS positions to start out with. Here's our HVT, Bouchik and I'll run. And it looks like INS have pretty much pushed off the, uh... Enemy caches once we hit live. Um, I will mark them on the map. Please avoid those areas. Please avoid those areas. Alright, so... It is... Cam Morgan's inclination to not strike the, uh, the caches. And we are live. INS are moving out some guys, probably trying to find a better position. We can see all of INS's positions here. Looks like north, south, east, west coverage. Uh, north is pretty light, though. Could go in U.S.'s favor. U.S. starting the closest contact here. I imagine police station guys are going to get spotted Reference enemy right as they go through the camp. Right, right as they go towards the camp. And Echo four six two. So spots two and five. Make sure we're avoiding that cache. We don't want to tip our hand early. Roger. Roger that. Pretty light enemy presence, though, on the north side. It is going to really help INS. Or, sorry, it's going to help US here. A little bit of a far walk here.
for squads three and four. Squad five, squad two, I guess they're waiting for three and four to get in position before they move out. Is this your first option, please? No, nah, I was in the one right, yesterday. Let's go. Cool. Right. And the north guys are going to start moving out south. This is a one life event, so no revives. Security. No one getting back up after they go down. Medics will still have bandages, but all they can do is stop bleeding. They can't bring players back from the give up screen. And here we go. First problem. Head in free stalker. Wall, so close. Spread out. Watch we'll spread out. definitely have eyes on these guys. You can see, you can even see Hedda through the window there. Free Stalker's gonna be on the roof. Looks like he's getting Free Stalker to come to him. Although Free Stalker looks a little... Alright, Bravo, get, get in these three over here. And Gunny's already spotted it. Rotate west to avoid contact. Shift west. That's not gonna help. Remember, if they fire at you, you can fire back. West is over. Trying to stay as quiet as possible for now. Ahedda could definitely take some heads off at this range. In our command chain. Crashing. Yeah, they've definitely seen us by now. Yep. Off. Goes without saying, Hedda is just sitting there with Binox, I think. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Right. Satsu yeah, and Freestalker are helping them close. Squad 2 might have been spotted as well. And it looks like they're going to follow Squad 5. I was just getting my murder boner on, Utopia, and I can't believe this. Oh no. Squad 5, how are we doing? Are you guys able to shift west to avoid that contact? We're out there. We're out there. We're out there. We're out there. I guess they're crossing further west again. Ahead is still gonna have eyes on them. Charlie, you're good. Maybe Charlie, not from yeah. that window. Come to me. All right, let's go. Maybe they're just hiding. Five, we're following you. We're gonna zoom over to squad three as they get closer to the police station. They got a little bit of an uphill battle to swing here. But they are in a ditch and they have plenty of cover. Lots of buildings between them and the police station. Although Silas might have a... Mm, Silas's position is very nice. I say that and then... Uh, I say that and then he is... Not quite visible there. Silas is just looking north, though. I don't think he's got sight on anything, but Squad 4 might be visible to Silas from this position. Let's go over to Charlie Foxtrot. Charlie Foxtrot is a fire team lead, so he's got Binox. And he's looking around, using his elevated position to try to spot as much as possible. And it looks like everyone is kind of sort of converging here. Go for command. Uh, just getting positioned now to uh, prep for this Alton police station. Copy. Uh, wait for four if possible. I'd like you guys to engage. Now. And Charlie has loaded, has picked up his rifle. Looks like the jig is up. Silas has even turned to his left now. There is a fire team from three sort of on his flank, and they could possibly spot him if they got up on the roof, but Silas could definitely have 
a nice angle on these guys. The only thing that pops out at this range is going to be his uh, his headgear. Hey, Long, you want me to start opening up and then you assault? Or... Scott is just getting ready to pop his head up. And then another person can just jump in here. I got this one. Uh, Where should I send up the uh, uh, where I was previously at? And here we go. U.S. forces starting to get on rooftop. And Dubs lights them up. And here we go. Ines gets to react now, so they get to push out from their locations. Ooh, and there's a fire team that's gonna smack three or straight in the side. Uptown got smacked. He's got shot through the wall. inside of police station. Whoa! Four. I'm sorry. That's what you get for proning next to a wall that has holes in it. Since we took contact at police station, be the first casualty. U.S. forces pretty spread out. Three and four continuing their hold. Grenades being thrown. Oh, INS have even taken a casualty. Looks like um, Charlie Fox in the tower got zinged. South of police station, proximate grid, Delta 5-5. And Londar's calling out that fire team south of them. They're even shooting back. Two and five. Let's continue our push south. Roger pushing. Pretty good positions. The only one that can really engage them is Spitfire, and he's got himself looking for targets. Oops. Let's pull back east. Lots of blind firing happening here. Going over to the east force. They've punched out pretty well. They're getting close to the uh, VIP compound. Fulcrum got spotted on a roof. And the close force has begun to shoot at the compound. This is their main objective. This is really just a distraction attack. Their objective is to kill Bound Chicka Outrun. Yeah, I don't think U.S. fully appreciate how much they could push up if they really wanted to at this point. Police station is not going to be effective on them. Where is Frog going? It's going to be close quarter. Oh, there was a TK. <gasps> oh no! Polish and kimchi. Maybe a bad frag. And they are pushing police station. Uh, squad four here has got guys inside. Squad three also sending a fire team in. Like you hold your guys up in those 
Let's take a look at Zerg here. Zerg might have a decent position here. Yep, he's taking an army soul and he's falling back. Come on, uh, right side. Get a nade over yep. there. Get a nade over. Frag goes out. Doesn't look like it hits anyone. And Zerg gets a nade. Redibus goes down though as he pushes further to the compound. Salty has been hit. So I think Steve O got him through the window. Uh, actually, maybe if Steve was there, he fell back to the to the stair. Going back to five, five is reformed, and they are starting to mess for this attack. But they need support. Two now has a full squad size force to their east. They killed Freestalker. It looks like. I have the doorway. He peeks in the dead. Go for it. If you can take the shot, take the shot. Flank. Bro, I'm pretty sure it covers them below anyway, so. Money man. Ooh, that was close on Satsu. He's falling back towards the compound. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. 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 Yeah, Let's go back over to the action over here. Police station slowly getting cleaned up. Raggy knows there's... Ground floor? Yeah. Which building is the end? The single story or the two story? And then that's one second. Two story. Alright. Yep, crossing, crossing. <laughs> Hood got him with the last it's bullet in his mag. <laughs> okay. I'm on radio. I'm on radio. I can dig. Oh, start digging. Yeah, we're gonna start digging. Jericho tries to take a shot at someone. Maybe Alzadi? Doesn't have the best position. But INS have lost control of the police station. They have just a small footprint in there. Now with this done, I'm not quite sure because they're only supposed to have one mission. Hood just died. Looks like they ran up on the radio. They found out he was digging it. Grenade goes the big laugh. He, uh. Alzadi dies as Oddball runs up on him. Dubs is hit. I don't think he knows he's bleeding. And a trade! Salty trades with Dubs. Meanwhile, Stretch is down here, running at what in Tarnation. We're doing fine. Oh. When Tarnation's got to hear him bandaging. Is he going to run up? Please push guys inside and help clear that compound. Looks like a, a failed attempt here. What in Tarnation basically pre-fires Stretch to death. Meanwhile, while I was looking at the map, sorry, but he gets shot at by Matt Honcho and Gamertime Phil. Gamertime Phil with the AR. Uh, police station oddball still up. And I think it falls to INS to do some maneuvers here. 
entire team back and help support squad three. Sir SPT goes down. Looks like Silent took him out. Copy. Silent's got a pretty awesome position here on the wall, and a grenade goes over. Doesn't look like it had the distance, or may have bounced off a column. Were we able to get the radio see that came from? Yeah, that was uh, east out. in the middle of the alley, burnt off car. And INS reinforcing to the south is actually wrapped all the way around. Ramp gets spotted, but he's committed. INS are overrunning Squad 2's position here. Cutting straight through the middle of them. Raf gets two, Schmoodle and Jordis. Utopian runs downstairs and dies to Raf as well. Three in one blow. With Utopian dead, everyone else just melted around him. It's just Money Man. Just Money Man here on this roof, and Madman Pete has to pick up the pieces from Squad 2. What an awesome assault from INS. Squad 2 way too cut up and it looks like we are falling back firecracker oh that's a good throw but it might kill money man in the process yep money man didn't realize the grenade zing zinged <laughs> unfortunate for him unfortunate and with that gone, looks like uh, Madman P is going to retreat. And with the objective down at police station, they're going to start falling back. Stephen, uh, Steph Dury, and Adam and Chili. And Delta 3-8. Delta 38 is the US extract and they are running away. Okay, uh, Grenade coming through. But the cat lord just knocks down Stephen Dury. Adam is stuck here and it looks like all EA can do is just repel. The INS aggressors. Squad two copies. Two, three, five. INS trying to make chase here on the west side. I guess Bouchica Outrun has gotten out and Fulcrum is pulling his guys into the police station as US are exfilling. US are gonna exfil the same way they came in. This could be bad. Does one tarnation see them? Yes. Flame Mage. Makes a dive over that barrier. And the U.S. trying to cut contact here. Ooh, what a throw. This could get Kool-Aid, man. <laughs> that was close. Knox, what's going on, my guy? XO, good to see you. Shoo wee We got some people in chat. Nice to see everyone here today. Round one so far is a strategic victory for U.S. forces, recovering the uh, intelligence left behind and the equipment left behind at the police station. Exfilling U.S. forces still in contact. INS players trying to give as much chase as possible. Oh, and wouldn't you know it, Squad 5 has run back to the exfil location and they're about to decapitate Command, who is sitting by himself, probably looking at a map. Copy. You can head to exfil. Squads 3 and 5, please. 
do the same if you're able. And Morgan has no idea these guys snuck past him. Direct contact. I'm trying to get him to pull out, but uh, they're, they're close with the enemy. U.S. not able to. U.S. not able to uh, disengage as efficiently as co their command has hoped, and they're going to be walking straight into an entrenched fire team at our exfil. At the their exfil, rather. Silent pushing out by himself like a mad lad. He's gonna see Cap Morgan right here. And here he comes. There he goes. Looks like Raf got him. With Cap Morgan dead, US are gonna know that the Xville is compromised. You don't think the EA was going to give that away? Probably not, but uh, it is what it is. They're going to have to deal with it. Adam takes down Fulcrum. What in Tarnation is still inside the police compound? Most of INS is still trying to give chase. What in Tarnation kills Flame Mage as he tries to... Wait, why did Flame Mage go back in? I'm so confused. And Lon is the voice of reason and experience. U.S. need to reorganize before they just start pushing north. They're going to have problems. Oh, and what in Tarnation killed Adam when I wasn't looking? Wow. Oh, and it looks like DJ Russ has run into some retreating U.S. forces here. Killed him, killed him. One down. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. Right, DJ Russ died. Perfect. Trying to peek out here. Nice shooting by Gamertime Phil. Let's take a look and see if we can figure out who's still alive here. Let's see, one, seven, nine for US. They still have the full fire team of five north at the exfil point waiting for their return. Maybe the numbers aren't going to work out in US's favor. Only five, six, seven behind for INS. And Matt Honcho took out the contact that was near him. So it really is going to be U.S.'s game to lose here if they can organize a push north and clear it efficiently. They might have a chance. But I'm not sure. INS are pretty strong. I'm waiting for things to happen. Possible down the low ground, get spread, and then try and cover for uh, Kool Aid to bring across you. You set? Set. All right. Yeah. Kool-Aid looking for targets. Alright, get ready to move. Moving. And here we go. Lon is going to push Scottish and Lib across. Right southeast. Alright, okay. Raf and Abel Owens over here on the left. Maybe Crack, uh, crack is going to... Or Crazy is going to have a shot on him. Ooh, it's not really a good idea here to jump this wall. Like break a wall here. I think we can get through, maybe. No. I wouldn't try it. Let's punch it west, go north. Lon, the voice of reason and experience again. Lib will get two. We'll see. Scottish is going to start peeking the left side here, and Raf is kind of peeking his head up, looking for things to shoot. Scottish is going to dome this guy. Oh, there's literally a guy right here, on, on the rocks, 20 meters. Alright, you got a grenade? Alright, Scottish? I'm gonna get one. You and... Uh, oh, Phil they're gonna hear that ammo bag go down. Liberal with me. Uh, okay, guys. And right side, Honcho goes down as Satsu's close on the wall. That was a blooming thing. No, it was a guy's head. 
Beasley finally puts a bullet, a second bullet in Asansu. Silent's gonna have that air, that hole covered if they decide to go through. Braff and Owens have fallen back. Roger. This is all that remains of US, just five, six people. Yeah. Grenade goes in. Lib and Long taking the far west flank here, but bam, and Pete and Beasley goes down. Beasley go down. It is all a west to east push here. INS have got to reinforce this position. They got to stop it from being a thing. Right now, it looks like INS is game to lose. US just weren't. Uh, US didn't have the numbers to retake their exfil. And INS are going to hold it close as they wait for their guys to come in from the south. Legar is definitely going to have eyes on probably Lon and Lib as they run across. Or not, because Lon and Lib have gone all the way around. Ooh, Kool Aid's making himself pretty obvious right now. Right, pushing east towards those uh, triangles on the map. I'm going to set up on these rocks over here, right over. Lone AR, man. They might have a chance, but it's not going to be secure. If INS in the south here, this is six guys. If these six guys push north, it's kind of curtains for the four remaining U.S. soldiers here. It's not the ideal situation. Far east, far east. I think Lon spots Hedda. Contact far east. There's no way to get in the compound unless they jump the wall from this angle, though. And that's not smart. Wait, Crazy just started running it. What? Crazy ran outside. All of INS pours north now. Kool-Aid man totally, totally whiffing here. And all of INS is north in now. Everybody's running around doing stuff. Lon is going to hear Hedda here. I think Lon and Hedda hear each other. Here comes Hedda throwing a grenade. That's pretty close, but it's not going to do a lot of damage. Lawn runs away from it. Multiple frags. Run the rampant into the Kool-Aid man is getting isolated now. Kool-Aid man needs to pick it up, but if he moves from that location, he's going to get shot. I don't think there's a real way for a Kool-Aid man to catch up. INS are now inside the compounds that... U.S. are going to have to clear, and there's a lot of them. Scotch, can you sit up here? Got some very good motor holes. Kool-Aid is putting some shots in on someone trying to peek them. There's a whole squad in the, in the west compound. Looks like Raph might try to peek them. Cool Aid's running though. No. Everyone's diverting east here. Inessa's positions in this east compound. U.S. want to get inside. INS played it pretty loose on the east side. I think uh, they're starting to give chase now. Copy that. Hedda is still... Hedda has a great position here. If he keeps this cool and keeps watching the entrance, he's going to have some shots to take. I think 
Lon's waiting for Cooley Man to get over. Lon makes a run for it. The head is not looking. Oof. All right, it's in there. And you, okay. INS, have moved in. You watch my corners. Raph, what is this? Raph is trying to crawl out the window. Southwest. Nope, can't crawl through that window, man. He's clipped out. Raph gets shot off the balcony from inside. I don't know where he went. He's on our west. These guys will obviously be pushing us. Lib. Living dangerously. Crosses and gets tagged. So you shot at me when I tried to cross. Roger. I think that was Abel inside. Lib has to bandage. Finds a better position to do so. Building anymore. Scottish and Kool-Aid. Where's Kool-Aid? Oh, is Kool-Aid man dead? Wow. It's just Lib and Lon gets executed by Hedda. Hedda finds the better position. Covering the outside wall. Scottish has got to come in now and help Liberal. Scottish making some pot shots here. Looks like he found Hedda. Grenade. No joy. Lib is. <laughs> this is great. Silent has Lib's number if he comes around this corner. Lib's falling back. Silent. No, he moves away. Silent probably saw Lib running around that corner, though. Uh, where did... Wait, where did Scottish go? There is Scottish. So, okay, I guess Scottish is trying to link up with Lib. You can see Abel in a firefight with Lib. Throws a smoke in. Inside of the building. Be smoking or being smoked? I am smoking the inside of the building. Copy that. A smart play. Yeah, I think it's just Abel in the warehouse here. But he's got friends right outside and they're throwing grenades. Scottish still has to cross this and Hedda still has it on lockdown. Scottish has to commit sometime. INS are starting to mass west, starting to mass west to east. Hedda may have just taken shots at Lib. Lib is firing back. Hedda goes back behind the car. It's t Scottish is trying to still there. do something. Lib is basically using the smoke to stay alive. He's going in. Abel spots him. And Lib goes down to a headshot. And now Scottish has to commit here. Fire team sweeps outside the wall. Scottish still wants Hedda. And it's not gonna happen. Scottish falls down and that's GG. Oh my gosh. All right guys, we are gonna take a break and we will be right back with round two.
Squad Ops is a community focused on immersive and tactical gameplay. Realistic event scenarios create a cinematic experience for players and spectators. Squad Ops is geared towards those who want to experience the rush and thrill of combat within planned operations with defined mission objectives and dynamic engagements. If you're looking for hardcore, tactical and cinematic gameplay, Squad Ops is perfect for you. Our missions and operations are usually streamed live on Twitch and archived to our YouTube channel. To participate in our squad or armor events, head over to our website and Discord for details of how to join in the fun. Round two of Operation Wraith starting soon. Everyone's getting back in. The setup is commencing. The setup is gonna take a little bit, so let's talk about the operation at hand. US are gonna sort of do a offensive move in uh, Fallujah here. They could start from various angles and basically they go into the town. They try to keep a low profile for as long as possible. And then the idea is they're going to choose a mission and run at it. Um, they know all the details about the other missions. There's a mission where they need to take the... Um, it, they need to recover intelligence from the police station that was left behind. There's also an HVT in the center of the map that they can kill. And I believe... Uh, there is the uh, base of operations for INS in the area that they can raid and take down. Those are three objectives that are sort of set in stone. Uh, there's also going to be a fourth one that involves two ammo caches that are in the city. As long as they can dismantle both of those ammo caches, um, that is also the fourth mission they do. Uh, they'll get the information on where those locations are as the round goes live and they can switch to that mission for about five minutes after live starts uh, so it's all up to the commander on the ground as to what they're going to do uh, loadouts for the teams pretty straightforward no special kits for us two ars one medic two ftls for us squads there is a possibility of a helicopter but i don't think us are going to take it U.S. didn't have a helicopter pilot for round one. So I believe it's just going to be no helo, which means no vehicles after live. INS, on the other hand, get a few more things to play with. Their squads are only two FTLs, one medic. And they also have uh, two ARs, platoon level, and four ammo men, ammo bearers rather. There's also a couple of uh, fobs that are going to be sort of tied to specific locations. So, once again, this is what the sort of operation looks like. Basically, surround Fallujah or attack from multiple directions and then send themselves in just to see what they could do. So that's the plan. Uh, shortly, we'll be getting... Actually, I'm going to go ahead and grab command comms now. Uh, what we're we going to call ourselves uh, OPSEC Top Kick. And we're going to go ahead and grab command comms so we can listen to what's going on. Looks like we got a few people moving out. Is it really good sailing from the mosque, so we shouldn't cross it. Perfect. Can we get a, maybe get an AR watching it while everyone pushes, and then they can slowly move up. 
their starting grid location? Coming up. What's the, the starting grid location for us? Like, where, where do we have to stop? Uh, those are your two options. Now, where are these guys going? Hmm. This is a balls you play. US are going to start from multiple angles here. Look at that. Probably not going to get a uh, platoon brief, although I think the commander is down south. So we're going to roll down here, get eyes on this position. And then I am going to step away for a hot second. I need to take care of something real quick. I'll be right back. Commander Squad 3 silent. Mm -hmm. Can I have you do a, a two squad platoon brief up north there? Lay out your plan. Okay. Awesome, and I'll, uh, I'll do a platoon, uh, platoon brief for the two squads down here in the south. Uh, the objective is the mosque with the ammo caches as our uh, optional objective. Apologies. Uh, Killer and Stevo, I think. I had to take care of that real quick. Blink around to the golf column. Uh, once we start getting contact and figuring out what's happening, and we'll create a U. That was to me, correct? Yeah. All right, copy that. So if that makes sense, those those red arrows. Ultimately, we're gonna come in from the. Uh, all sides, north, south, and east. But we'll see when we hit contact. Sorry, Colossus. Do uh, squad briefs, platoon briefs, and ready for life. Usually, I uh, I work overnight, so it's like uh. Is Killer flanking, you just said, or is he? He's going with me, right? That's right, south. He's going. He's going with you. Uh, once we hit contact, uh, we'll ultimately probably have okay. uh, one squad flank. But everything's normal for now. I usually work overnight, so when I do these streams, I'm on like four hours sleep, and I usually don't get to, uh... ...participate in the evening ops anymore. I heard, I I heard heard Steve like, but we have other, uh... Oof. 48 hour shifts, so sorry, Barry. And there we go. And uh, just a reminder, you are allowed to mark the cache locations on the map when I give them to you. <laughs> I, I was not there for the fight. I died like That's even true. before we started doing contact. Hang on. So. Two day shift though, Barry. It's a pretty long stint to be up. It's pretty fucking good. Or not up, but I mean, you know. Are those your push ups? Nah, mine are, uh, mine are strong. Yeah, there's some ops guys watching. There's always ops guys watching. Uh, we do these weird push-ups, though. We do something called a hook. Uh, a... I don't know what the fuck it is. Like, we do a push-up, lie down, extend our arms, and then we do it fucking again. Oh, <laughs> hand-release push-ups, yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Or some shit like that, yeah. Hand-release push-ups, hand release. what it's called. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, the yeah. army's doing the fucking ACFT shit. Yeah, now. have you have you done the ACFT? Oh my god, the fucking the push spread pull, drag push carry. Drag. Oh my that god, that shit was so bad. My legs, I tell that, you. That dude doing the two mile run after that fucking smokes my ass. All right, guys, let's do platoon brief. Everyone, let's head over here. All right, let's listen in to the platoon brief from U.S. Command. You guys set? I'm uh, doing a quick, uh, uh, quick platoon brief. 
Uh, give us uh, 30 more seconds. All right, welcome guys. Welcome. Excellent work last round. Um, good win there. Uh, so we uh, we will have the same negative afforded to us of knowing them knowing our exfil location. Once exfil is called, uh, check your six, check everything in front of you. They could already be at our exfil, so keep that in mind. Uh, we've split the platoon into two squads, uh, element from the north, element from the south. We're pushing on Mosque. If you look on your map, we're pushing into Mosque, which is Fox 5. Uh, along the way, we're going to try to pop some ammo caches once they've been afforded to us, once live is called. If we're able to get them and clear them, we'll clear the ones that are in the south, while Silent and his team clear what's in the north. Ultimately, we'll pincer move on the mosque. Once we clear the mosque, get the radio dug up all the way to the ground, no sticks, we will then exfil um, to whatever the closest location is, either northeast or southeast. Uh, if that's completely cut off, then we'll, we'll react from there. But uh, we're going to be going in here. You'll be working closely with Stevo and Hanu. They're going to be guiding us in, covering each other, pushing on the mosque on these red lines on the map. Any questions? Southeast. Uh, what is an exfil? It is the point in which we get to leave and also win at the same time. It's a disengage from the enemy, get to a specific location. And then the round ends and we are considered winners. Why does your map not look like this? Probably because it has all the enemy on it and yeah, you don't get to right. see. <laughs> Everyone's a winner, yes. Yeah. If you talk about the roll icons, yeah, it's yeah. Uh, get ready for this one. Uh, break them out, get it ready right. for life. I'll let the uh, EAs know we're ready. All right, but you heard the general idea of what's going on. And killer, you guys ready? I would be very not surprised if they choose the southeast extraction. Yeah, you can see the roll icons. You can toggle it with this setting up here in the gear. So, I mean, there's a benefit. Obviously, you want to... You want to, like, you know... I'm going to go on the east side. I'm, I'm sometimes you want to know where people are looking, but sometimes you don't. So would you get on the ACFD service? Copy. We'll take uh, the my question. last yeah, one was I don't know. We just did a diagnostic, so I didn't Copy. see this correctly. I, uh, I want to say like uh, 475. I don't know. In the giga chat, I, I, I am like. Have oh, no, yeah, so you got a 600. <laughs> I had one dude get a 50 right, or 597. He was three points from maxing. There no fucking way, like, Dude, like no. he, <laughs> it was. I, I mean, everything was fine. Are you guys ready over there? He's insane. We are silent. Fucking maybe seal material. Okay. Anybody ever done a biddle? I mean, we're ready. I'm gonna go to the restroom for like one minute, but call live and I'll have my fire teams go. Biddle. All right, happy. Uh, U.S. is ready for life. Yeah, it's like uh, your thing, but for firefighters. No, right, I'm live, I'm live, live, live. And here we go. Round two begins. We're live. I'm ready for those cash locations for you whenever you are about. Alright, I'm ready to mark them. We'll have it, I have. What the fuck? E451. Stand by. Oh, that's right on. <laughs> F514. Got it. F483. Got it. Six record on that cash. Echo six four nine. Yeah, I see it. All right, so US knows where the caches are. Here's what we do. I think we grab the Echo six. What the fuck am I saying? Echo six cache and the Foxtrot four cache. One cache on each side. With that. You want to do that? I'm with that. Yeah, let's do it. And we got a mission deviation. You are switching objective to caches. Uh, can I get consensus real quick? 
Hano, you contact good with this? I agree. Oh no, contact north. Alright, switching to caches. Hold, hold. Killer and silent, I need you guys to work together at your own discretion. Clear that cache. Oh, and there we go. Contact. They ran straight into squad two. Contact north. Copy. Right, is, our U.S. guy's already down. Steve Ohano, confirm you guys are taking Echo call, 649. Call, no contact north. Copy. Hano and Steve-O. Oh, no. Right, Who died? We can take uh, five. five. What do you advise? Uh, go for, go right, for both. You As you come in, see which one has less contact. Uh, before, I need you to actually cover two. Uh, you won't be able to run, go run, east. Run, 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 go, 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 try the cross. Copy that. Stay moving north. north. Time now. Alright, give me, uh, positions Steve, like we're cross. going with caches only. Copy, where do you want me? Alright, I'm moving. Uh, follow two in. Cover it's just Batman Pete. Everyone else ran away! We love the tower. Right? tower. Could have yeah, been the yeah. tower and mask actually. Because I wouldn't realize why I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that could be me. So. Shot south. This is six. We're going to be the, the more uh, east. Are two in contact? Negative. Two is not in contact. I thought I heard shots. Command squad three. Mm -hmm. uh, squad three confirmed that you have command over squad three and squad six movements. Yeah, I got it. Okay. Madman is just sitting up here by himself. Everyone else ran away from him. I guess he thinks he's stuck on the roof. Unit command is two IC silent and then in squad number order. Oh, look at this. They pulled back from the eastern. They pulled back from the, uh, from the western, uh, cache. Aren't they gonna go for this one? Oh, man. We're gonna have to go back north just to see how Man Man Pete is doing. Oh, look at this ridiculousness. A suggestion from one of my FTLs that we go west. If four can hold this corner here. We'll push and try to take the objective. Um, if we fail, then they can hit the Man, Pete is just sitting here. Alright, execute. Four, move to two and hold. Does he... Th I don't know what he's thinking. I'll copy four. So two's gonna hold this position. Four's gonna go to Echo 6-4 and get that cash. That's one down. The second one is only being held by one person. INS won't have time to react. Even if they go for this one, no one's there. We have one fire team moving across the road north from two's position. Copy. Looks like five lost a guy. I'm watching the blue hog. They were moving east, north of your position, four. I think they might have just realized it's a bad move. There's still a lot of INS that we have yet to really identify. Super command, I'm taking one fire team to the And Madman is now. still up. Was holding that section. I four, continue to provide covering fire for two. Contact two on the A soul of the commander's pause? I wonder if they're reacting to try to defend the mosque. If U.S. just dips in and then dips out. Although we have Squad 4 pushing to contact here with Squad 5's fire team who's down in FTL. Yep. Hey, firm. Uh oh, did Silent just die? Someone just died over here. It was Madman Pete! But also, did see Silent. Nope, Silent's still up. Madman Pete died though. And everyone's firing. Oh, look at this uptown. <laughs>
Uptown got zinged by something. We have eyes on the objective. Clearing compound. Copy. Oh no. Oh no. Squad 2 has their objective. They surrounded the mosque. So here's the deal. The caches, they weren't aware of the caches position until the round started. Squad four, hold. You heard the admin give those calls live. So US diverted their mission to clear the caches. They have to clear two caches. I have my uh, Bravo Fire team looking at it in my truck. One cache is coming down now. The second one, they know where it is and they're clearing everything to it. So the second cache is, oh, I'm still looking at the wrong thing. Hold on, I gotta go all the way up here. You ask you to have one confirmed cache destroyed. Thank you, High Command. I don't know why I thought of a joke right there, but I did. So the second cache is right here. Maybe INS think they can get eyes on it? There's no way. There's no way. US could totally sneak in and out. Is there alert? Yeah, so the other thing is INS can't move their forces from the initial staging position until they're spotted, until they spot US forces. Since contact was called, INS get to maneuver freely at this point. INS are defending the VIP and defending the mosque really tightly. Although this squad in the south is the only thing that has really moved anywhere. And even then, only the one fire team came back from the west cache position and moved east to defend this cache. U.S. just get to juke at this point from the south. The north team has to clear in. INS gets to take pot shots at them all day. Squad 2, can, we, can you get security for us as well? Copy that. We have, no rear security. we have no rear security right now. Copy that. We can collapse back then. Oh man. Now this, um, I wonder, is the only way into this structure? Good work, guys. Hold on, I missed it. Squad two and four, stand by to push on that cache in front of you. Oh, looks like Shootle figured it out. So the cache is over here. Why haven't they done it yet? What is, what is the holdup? So, any entrances to this compound from the north? Bravo Team 6. South of your Bravo copy. Nothing obvious, actually. So, that could be one of the reasons why they chose this location. The only way to get in without being spotted is actually the east. There's no one looking. It's on the other side. Okay. We are very static here now okay. at the moment. So they have to push around. And this squad that's defending the cache pretty pretty indirectly, they're not gonna have eyes on it until they're not gonna know what's happened. There's still a pretty really really close contact down here. Within uh, within a hundred meters, but the bazaar is twisty and turny. Let's go over to Charlie Fox here. There's really no uh... crossing. He's talking to himself. 
Oh, he's got a buddy behind him. But not really helping. Stephen Dury. Through the bazaar. Looks like he might have had eyes on Fry. Two. What? Uh, do you got? What's going on? One of my guys got suppressed. He's not sure exactly where from. Checking out. Charlie. If he's not careful. Uh, northeast. More north. We've got contacts north of my Bravo. North of my Charlie. Copy that. Squad six starting to get legs now. All right, command all squads. Uh, once that second cache is confirmed, dug down, uh, we will be exfilling, uh, but we will need to defend the exfil for event admin. Oh, so they're not actually going to exfil. The rules state we can exfil to any non-use spawn point. Do we just want to choose one of them, or are they going to? Uh, yeah, Brent, uh, I'm here. choosing. Um, so I'm choosing this office going quickly. Yeah. I'm choosing H365, is... and then we will defend the, the expo. This is 6, we're digging it down. Copy. Uh, squad 2 and 4, please start moving to H365 now. Uh, cover each other. Uh, 6 and 3, finish digging that down. It's gonna be crazy. We're gonna get pushed hard on H365. They need to fall back now. They need to, full, they need to pull squad 3 off. Squads oh, four, two, and one are gonna have to ramp all the way around. It's doable for them, but they gotta start legging it now. Two, do you wanna pull south? Two, do you wanna pull south? You need to cover us while we pull south. They just need to turn and run. Five is reorganizing pretty strong. Well done. Alright, any second they're gonna broadcast it, so let's just start moving. So the other point, I believe, is Golf 36. Hotel 365. Hotel 365. So it's the bridge. Squad 5 is not chasing. They have no eyes on the retreating U.S. force. There are some shots north, though. Looks like some shenanigans have been called. The x hasn't been called yet, though. This is going to be a shooting gallery, but squads two and four on the south side have to get there, and they're going to get spotted crossing this. The alert for INS is going to be when the admin pushes the uh the exfil site live and that hasn't happened yet copy that i'm trying to get my ar to set up on that intersection he's not listening and a little bit of a miscommunication here inside squad we uh we met the mission objectives i don't want to pull out if there's still sticks or something we missed Thank you. Both objectives are gone. All right, let's go. All right. And U.S. are exfilling the Hotel 365. <laughs> They're going to have two squads on the objective before INS react to the location. And here we go. How fast are INS going to react here? Are they going to drop everything and run? Nothing yet. Meanwhile, AR fire south. Assault's trying to catch these guys in the open. US are going to disengage here. I 
INS are not moving. The only squad that's moving is squad four. Squad five is now trying to chase. Uh, here we go. Uh, Starting to get some movement in the mosque. Copy. And the south guys are gonna have a pretty easy time to get out. Oddball, let's go. Let's go. I have X filled. See you guys later. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, go ahead and get to AR set up. Let's get a defensible position. They will push I us. I got my AR squad set up in one of these buildings nearby. <laughs> it's really not a good spot. Um, there is a back side of the road, though, on the east side that we can use as like a berm to hide behind. Squad 5 is at least pushing together. The problem yeah, is... We, we have the advantage, so that's why this, is, this was the decision. Actually, this could be bad. Let's take a look at this terrain here. Oh, never mind. All they gotta do is push around this compound. It's raised up. INS could get here, though, if Squad 2 doesn't get a leg on. They're gonna catch Squad 4 in the back, though. Squad 4's dead. They're moving too slow. Squad 2 has also stopped them waiting for Squad 4, and Squad 4's not moving. So these guys are all lost. I mean... <laughs> I think squad four is just there. There's no reason why there should be. There's no reason why anyone should be stopping. Four, I'm gonna keep one fire team at the double wide highway so you can. No reason why anyone should be stopping. Perfect, thank you. So close contact, squad five. If they're smart, they're gonna have an AR. Actually, they don't have an AR. They just have to leg it. They're gonna see Fry. Nothing they do about it, they don't shoot. Fry doesn't see them. They're just pushing. They're gonna hit squad four in the side here. Squad two is also- It's close north of um, my position. Hotel four, Copy. four. Hanu, here's them on the roof. Fulcrum gets spotted by the enemy commander. Oh no. Fry's dead. Squad 5 is infiltrated between 2 and 4. And it looks like Squad 4 taking their time. It's gonna catch Squad 5 for INS in a bad position. Uh oh. Matt Hunter gets one. Two. Take your time and hit him. There you go, my blue. Man, Hancho gets two before going down. And squad two is stuck here too. It's not good for their numbers. Kimchi and Chubb's got to get out of here. Kimchi eats a little bit of a frank, but he's not bleeding. So the objective now is US are going to hold out. Fuck, you know. But they got to get there first. US have really good positions here. I'm surprised they don't just stack everyone up on the ridge line and just zing everyone. Camp Morgan has been hit pretty badly, and he goes down! Ines Command is dead. More infantry contacts moving north uh, and east. Honu's getting surrounded. But without this link in the chain, it's going to be difficult. I think it might be a, a little delayed before Londarts realizes. He might have a chance to cut off. Squad 5 still in pursuit of Squad 4. INS-5 still in pursuit of US-4. Dubs just running.
Ines have no eyes. Oh, at the end. Uh, infantry west. Uh, west of the exfil point. Good call, silent. Times one infantry popping up. Contact south of four. Contact south of four. Six. North of six. North of six. Is Steve going to turn and engage these guys? Get get up this roof now, get up this roof now. One go, 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 go. One Oddball wants to do it. One nine five. Get ready for contact. In the yard. One nine nine. One one nine nine. Across the road. One nine nine. No, south, 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 south. One nine nine. All right, dubs. Good, good, good. No! Oh, you, you big dummy. Fuck <laughs> up. <laughs> Dub's gonna get what? shot. <laughs> Bye, Fud. 199. 199. Shots coming in. Yep, and there you go. Dub's gets dropped pretty fast. Well, you had your chance and you jumped off the roof like a big dummy. Uh oh, here comes overwhelming numbers here for these for these outliers. It's not good. Where are the ARs? Why are they not on the why are they not the backstop? What the why? Why are they throwing? Why is US throwing right now? They still have numbers. INS only have six, 11, 16, 18. Sir SPT just walked up on Free Sniper or Free Stalker. Maybe Satsu got a, a trade for him. If wait, Free Stalker's still alive? He's on like zero health? Oh man. Two and four, able to use some defilade here, but squad five could cut up the highway. Uh, yeah, so let's keep killer where he is. If they get behind these guys on the ridge, it's bad news. Look at Fisco and Salty Toast. South. What are they doing? Are they just crawling? No, they're not crawling. But they're not. If Abel opens up, Fisco and Salty Toast gonna know what's up. They're gonna throw some grenades. It's gonna be bad news. There he is. Raph shoots right of us. Blue train cart, blue train cart, light it up. First and second car is contact around it. Put about a mag in and then... Oh, Fisco actually got hit. Fisco goes down. The crossfire is real for US defenders. But they having a problem there. You're losing their OP. Tivo's squad is dead. Fulcrum gets shot. US have gotta fall back. They're getting... INS just have all the positions in the world. The US just aren't concentrating anything. Except for South, and it's not the objective. I feel like this could have been avoided. Looking at numbers, it's... I got enough. I'm good. All right.
Rangi and Patrick are stuck in the middle of nowhere. Salty Toes try to fall back. And now he's just taking pot shots at people. Silent actually got hit. Silent should be okay, though. What is going on? Is Free Stalker still up? I think he just took out Schmidl. Wow, Free Stalker still up. Oh, multiple KIA. INS just walk up on him. It's bad news. Hanu's dead. US losing so many people. Why? Why did this happen like this? <laughs> the smokes. You need to pull back north. You need to pull back north. Trying to get around us. I'm gonna pull smoke. Definitely right along the train. Fuck town. My map. You guys snuck up on me. Holy shit. I'm probably gonna bleed out. From what uh, direction? What intarnation should be fine. He was right on top of me. Right on top of me. Contacts coming in south. Close. I need a medic. Bad. I need a medic. Coming. Oh. Steve died. Chili's just running up here. He gets friendly fragged. Oh, Spitfire. What a smooth move there. But, uh. You're the only one with command comms down there. Can you lead those guys? Yep, it's fucking Tima. Oh, I see somebody. Yeah. Flame Mage shot in the back. Nice. But did he see Liberal? Nope. Hit. Oh, fuck it. What in tarnation? Goes down. Yeah, I'm, uh, Lib is dead though. More smokes. It's gone pear shaped for US, but the numbers are starting to thin for INS. Three, six, seven. I guess it's like seven on ten. Maybe US has a bit more numbers here. But it's just Spitfire down here. What a spray. Steven Dur, are you gonna peek up here? Uh oh. Ooh, we need to get shot back in the back by a gunny. Dude, we're like the, the this wall. Is a perfect trap. Head in free stalker. Free stalker's gonna have to hold off salty toast and Patrick and Raggy now. Working okay, I keep looking at the blue building now, but now, now I'm uncovered to the okay, west south. Guys, but we heard shots well, from southwest, so um, yeah. <laughs> it wasn't up here, so I my guess is probably just the zero is not working. It shows up on the screen. Uh, Ray Stalker couldn't. There's no there's there's squad one. Ah, uh, that's why I'm stupid. Nah, it's. Let's all touch the radio and leave. Six, do you copy? Yeah, moving. Killer Jane's the cat lord are coming back, but Hedda and Russ are still in the compounds here. Russ is falling back, Hedda's falling back. If Patrick sticks his head up and over, it could be problems. He threw a grenade at Hedda's old position. Oh, he threw a grenade at Russ. And Russ is going to look at Chili here. No, Russ gets shot. Hedda might make it. Alright, everyone, let's come touch the radio in Expo. Guys get popped. 
Yeah. Alright, high command, we're, we're at the radio. We're still waiting, no, we got infantry out there. there. No man left behind. Oh dude. no, DJ. No, DJ, I forgot about DJ. And DJ Russ now breaks contact against three INS. US will reinforce, will uh, exfil. Six, seven remain. Wait, I can't count. Eight remain, and that's it. GG is called. That could have been a lot worse for INS. That could have been a lot worse for INS there at the end. Wow. What a round. You asked with the crazy play. Actually getting it to work. It's pretty good. And so that gonna end that's gonna end the stream for now. We do have an operation coming up tonight. Did I misspeak just now? I might have. No. We have an armor mission tonight. So let's see. Uh, tonight we have the armor mission open to everyone using the uh, Squad Ops Vietnam V1 mod. Um, Bloody Knee Hill. Fire in the Jungle campaign continues with Bloody Knee Hill tonight at 2045 Eastern. We have a basic for tomorrow. If you're interested in um, if you're interested in uh, playing more ops that are not just open ops on the calendar, you can always check that basic out. For tomorrow, we have looks like six slots open. Uh, that basic tomorrow is going to be at fourteen thirty UT or fourteen thirty Eastern. Next Wednesday, Horror Hotel is an open op. At 2045, our standard time for the evenings. And we also have another ARMA mission. It's going to require basic TVT. Not quite sure what that means, but it's ghosts using the 2107 um, mod set. Next, next Friday, the 29th, 2045 Eastern. Next Saturday, two One Life Ops. Metal Monsters next Saturday afternoon at this time. Starts at uh, 1.45 Eastern, 13.45 Eastern. And then Trick or Treat is, tom or is next uh, week's evening op. Uh, no basic required for Trick or Treat. So that's what we got going on. Uh, until next time, I'm B-Car, and I will see you guys later.